Hi everybody, my name is Deb Day and welcome back to the channel. And I'm going to focus this little video on Kilkenny, Ireland because two years ago when I was 63, I and my husband traveled uh, to Kilkenny and fell in love with the little town. But one of the reasons I was there was to run a half marathon. Lovely metal. It was a beautiful spot. It was a very unusual place to run. Why is this important? Because I get to explore. I am healthy enough to go to another country and to run and explore things that I might never get to do if I didn't have my health at my age. There was different things and unique things and as you go through the videos I want you to imagine a couple of these things. I'm running down the road and I hear a clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, and I could not get pictures of this. And I turned around and looked and there was a horse and a surrey. I thought, no, I would never see that here at home. I would expect that probably seven or eight of those passed me while I was running. I got to run by people running out of their houses with treats trying to encourage us as we went little uh, water stands with little girls all dressed up in their Sunday best and their china glasses just wanting to be there and to be a part of it and I'm running along the canal and I couldn't understand why I could see this man and he had his arm out and he had like obviously a leash or a lead just hanging over the edge of the canal wall and I thought what is this so I ran up onto the sidewalk and I looked and far down, it had to have been at least 20 feet down, so it was a long lead, was a horse swimming. Now I have no idea where the horse got in or where the horse is going to get out, but there were amazing things to see. So I hope you enjoy the videos and if you ever get a chance to go to Ireland and uh, visit Kilkenny, then you definitely, you definitely should do that. As soon as the spectators saw the Canadian flag, they cheered and cheered to think that there was a Canadian in their race. This young lad was having a field day getting his picture taken. It was 23 degrees that day when I finished the race and this was so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching those pictures. I'll be 65 this year and I will be running my first full marathon. And healthy aging is critical. And that includes nutrition, that includes fitness and exercise, thinking the right things, doing the right things, and eating the right things. And it is possible for us all to be the healthiest version of ourselves possible and to live one kick-ass life. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.